Hello viewers, welcome to Big Man Business YouTube channel. Today, we're going to look at pharmaceuticals from the global market perspective. Biggest global pharmaceutical markets, the U.S. has the largest pharmaceutical market in the world with a value of $339,694 million followed by Japan with $94,025 million and China with $86,774 million. In Germany, the value of its pharmaceutical market is about $45,828 million and in France, it is about $37,156 million. In Brazil, the value of its pharmaceutical market is about $30,670 million. In Italy, the value is about $27,930 million. In the UK, it is about $24,513 million while in Canada it is about $21,353 million. In Spain, it is about $20,741 million. If you're new to the Big Man Business YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new business expert videos. For more international business news and updates, please visit www.bigmanbusiness.com. The Top 5 Countries in Europe for Pharma Production All located in Western Europe, Switzerland punches well above its weight to take top spot. This data is taken from the 2021 edition of the FBA's Comprehensive Annual Data Review of the European Pharma Industry. Switzerland, despite boasting a population just one-tenth the size of neighbor Germany, Switzerland is by far Europe's biggest pharma producer, with production values of upwards of 54.3 billion euros in 2019. Switzerland is particularly strong in next-generation biologics manufacturing. As UCB's head of global manufacturing, engineering, and health, safety and environment Jacques Marbian points out, manufacturing out of Switzerland might cost slightly more than other countries but continues to serve us well because we can tap into unique knowledge and know how while well benefiting from the extremely high levels of production that you get out here. What's more the Made in Switzerland brand carries a special association with quality and precision, which is thoroughly pivotal in our niche. Multinationals doubling down on Swiss manufacturing and exports include MSD, whose R&D and manufacturing facility in Skaken plays a crucial role in manufacturing clinical supply for studies worldwide, and CDMO Lanza, which is continually expanding its Swiss facilities to meet soaring global demand. France France is Europe's second-largest pharma production hub at €35.8 billion Euros for 2019. The COVID-19 pandemic has however seen calls for an even greater chunk of the manufacturing value chain to be relocated to France amid fears of over-reliance on suppliers from India and China. Big French pharma manufacturers include Sanofi, which moved to invest $679 million in vaccine manufacturing in 2020, Servier, Ipsen, and Pierre Fabre. Italy Italy's €34 billion Euros worth of pharmaceutical production in 2019 makes it Europe's third largest on that metric. Italian pharma's manufacturing footprint is centered in Milan and the Lombardy region, home to 51 facilities, and Italy is the leading country in Europe in terms of the value of manufacturing produced by contract development and manufacturing organizations. Germany, home to innovative global giants such as Bayer, Boringer Inkelheim, and Merckco which has continuously made big manufacturing investments in recent years, Germany is Europe's fourth largest pharma producer, creating €33.2 billion Euros worth in 2019 according to the latest FBA figures. As Germany trade and invests 2021-22 pharma industry overview notes that the country is the largest exporter of medicinal products and ranks among the top pharmaceutical producers worldwide. In light of the global need for personalized medicine, Germany has also evolved into one of the main suppliers of novel biopharmaceuticals. UK, rounding out the list is the United Kingdom, where pharma production value is valued at €23 billion Euros for 2019. Flagship British pharma manufacturers include AstraZeneca and GSK and the country is recognizing pharmaceutical production as increasingly important, as outlined in the AP 78 pages Manufacturing Vision for UK Pharma. Which countries buy and sell the most drugs? The pharmaceutical industry is incredibly valuable and is continuing to grow. 
But just how much of the world's imports and exports involve pharmaceuticals? The United States is, by far, the world's biggest importer of pharmaceuticals at $99.7 billion. As the opioid crisis in the United States carries on, pharmaceutical companies are being scrutinized, as was demonstrated in the Johnson & Johnson settlement. Despite the scrutiny, the pharmaceutical industry is continuing to grow at a rapid rate. Pharmaceutical companies are being forced to pay hefty fines for their role in the opioid epidemic. We have pulled data from the World Trade Organization on pharmaceutical imports and exports throughout the world in 2018. Using this data, here are two models to portray the world's largest exporters and importers of pharmaceuticals around the world. Each country's pharmaceutical trade is represented by a pill. The larger the pill, the higher the value of exports or imports. World's largest pharmaceutical exporters, Germany with $84.7 billion, Switzerland with $71.7 billion, the United States with $49.7 billion, Belgium with $45.7 billion, and Ireland with $40 billion. World's largest pharmaceutical importers, the United States with $99.7 billion, Germany with $53.7 billion, Belgium with $36.7 billion, the United Kingdom with $33.8 billion, and Switzerland with $29.3 billion. The pharmaceutical industry accounts for tens of billions of dollars in international trade each year, much of which comes from Europe and the United States. As the opioid crisis in the United States continues to rage on, it might not come as a surprise to see that the United States leads the world in pharmaceutical imports. While local and state governments are trying to hold Big Pharma responsible for its role in the opioid crisis, pharmaceutical companies aren't concerned about U.S. drug regulations. Big Pharma is a massive industry and has plans to grow even more by targeting growing opioid markets in countries like India. Though many people around the world are concerned about the growing demand for pharmaceuticals, this demand is fueling the growth of these massive pharmaceutical companies. As such, the industry is likely to continue playing a major role in the global economy in the coming years. We all know the pharmaceutical industry has a major impact on the global economy. By analyzing available models, we can get an even better understanding of how big pharma affects countries around the world. Global sales from worldwide exports of drugs and medicines in 2020 totaled $407.7 billion. Overall the value of drugs and medicines delivered via international markets increased by an average of 21% for all exporting countries since 2016 when drugs and medicines shipments were valued at $337 billion. Year over year, there was a 6.9% gain from 2019 to 2020. Among continents, European countries sold the highest dollar value worth of exported drugs and medicines during 2020 with shipments from Europe accumulating to $328.4 billion or 80.5% of the global total. In second place were pharmaceutical exporters in Asia at 9.9% while 8.1% of worldwide drugs and medicine shipments originated from North America. Smaller percentages came from suppliers of drugs and medicines in Latin America at 0.8% excluding Mexico but including the Caribbean, Oceania at 0.4% led by Australia and New Zealand, then Africa at 0.2%. Here are the 15 countries that exported the highest dollar value worth of drugs and medicines during 2020. Germany with $60.8 billion equivalent to 14.9% of total exported drugs and medicines, Switzerland with $48.1 billion equivalent to 11.8%, Belgium with $31.1 billion equivalent to 7.6%, France with $28.4 billion equivalent to 7%, Italy with $27.2 billion equivalent to 6.7%, the United States with $24.7 billion equivalent to 6.1%, Ireland with $23.1 billion equivalent to 5.7%, the Netherlands with $19.8 billion equivalent to 4.9%, the United Kingdom with $18.7 billion equivalent to 4.6%, India with $17 billion equivalent to 4.2%, 
Denmark with $16.7 billion equivalent to 4.1%, Spain with $10.9 billion equivalent to 2.7%, Sweden with $8.9 billion equivalent to 2.2%, Canada with $7.6 billion equivalent to 1.9%, and Slovenia with $7.3 billion equivalent to 1.8% of global exportation. By value, the listed 15 countries shipped 85.9% of all exported drugs and medicine for 2020. Among the above countries, the fastest growing exporters of drugs and medicines from 2019 to 2020 were Slovenia up by 42.2%, Ireland up by 28.8%, India up by 13.5%, and Italy up by 11.2%. Those countries that posted the slowest gains year over year were, Switzerland up by 0.7%, Canada up by 1.6%, United Kingdom up by 1.6%, the United States up by 1.8%, and Germany up by 6.5%. The pharmaceutical industry discovers, develops, produces, and markets drugs or pharmaceutical drugs for use as medications to be administered to patients, with the aim to cure them, vaccinate them, or alleviate the symptoms. Pharmaceutical companies may deal in generic or brand medications and medical devices. They are subject to a variety of laws and regulations that govern the patenting, testing, safety, efficacy, and marketing of drugs. Hence when you hear the term pharmaceuticals it means drugs or medicines. From native apothecaries producing drugs derived from botanicals to wholesale production of drugs today, Pharmaceuticals have become a big global sector in the world economy. In short, the industry has been at the forefront of the discovery, development, production, and marketing of drugs. The pharmaceutical companies have also been involved in charitable causes that have allowed drug donations in developing countries where the need for their medications is great. Most of these causes are for cancer, AIDS, malaria, tuberculosis, parasitic, and other tropical diseases. These drugs may be branded or generic. The global pharmaceutical industry is an important aspect of the world economy today, providing about 1 trillion US dollars in revenues annually. The American pharmaceutical industry accounts for about 40% of these revenues. However, China is fast catching up as having the fastest growth in the industry. European pharmaceuticals have also shown high revenues in prescription sales. Biggest Global Pharmaceutical Markets Companies In the U.S., Pfizer leads in sales revenues of about $45 billion in 2013 while Johnson & Johnson realized revenue of $70,074 million in 2015. In Switzerland, Novartis made $47,101 million in revenues in 2014 while Roche realized $39,120 million in the same year. In France, Sanofi made $36,437 million in 2014 while in Japan, Takeda made $20,446 million in 2014. Bayer in Germany made $15,486 million in 2014. Monitoring the pharmaceutical industry Monitoring of the pharmaceutical industry involves several aspects such as environmental monitoring and drug production, decontamination, microbiological testing, storage, and wastewater management. These processes involve meeting regulatory rules for product safety and marketing. The issue of adverse drug effects has been the initiative behind strict regulations of the pharmaceutical industry worldwide. These complaints have reached 1,000 or more cases a year for every key marketed drug product sold in the market in recent decades. Pharmacovigilance has become important in the industry as well in monitoring unrecognized drug risks, recognition of predisposing factors, and refuting spurious safety claims of drugs. In recent decades, pharmaceutical companies themselves have established their monitoring units to further the safety of their products. Pharmacovigilance has its origins in clinical medicine, clinical and preclinical pharmacology, immunology, toxicology, and epidemiology. Physicians and other closely related sources are the usual information regarding adverse drug reactions. Different methods of reporting ADRs are practiced in different nations which account for the actions taken by the pharmaceutical companies. In the U.S., 
patient reporting stands as the most source of ADRs while in the UK and Sweden, reports come from physicians through medical representatives. The reporting of rare ADRs however, would take more examinations. Many ADRs are published in medical journals, but disadvantages come as not many patients are readers of these publications. Every major country in the world today have their own national regulatory body and also several international organizations that investigate ADRs. Thanks for watching this video. We are open to suggestions. Kindly drop your comments in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the Big Man Business YouTube channel. See you in the next video.